Hi guys, I am now wrapping up this part. We are actually wrapping up this part where we are discussing restrictions involving identities. In other words, um, when is an identity going to be undefined? Okay, so I'm gonna start you with a nice example that involves both the sign and the cosine and work around also the exact interval, finding the values in the exact interval. So if this goes way beyond 10 minutes, my apologies, it's a wrap up, okay? So here's an identity, um, sine x, cos x, plus cos x, all over one minus cos squared x, plus sine x is equal to one over tan X. So obviously the first question will be prove the identity. We've done a lot of that and I hope you can. You can actually pause the video and try prove this yourself. When you have proven it, the next follow-up question is then, um, so for, uh, for which values, okay, so um, let me write this, for which x values, within the interval minus 180 degrees to 180 degrees well the identity or is the identity identity b undefined okay now we know this very much in maths we hate division by zero because that is what makes things to be undefined. Therefore, we're gonna say, well, for this identity to be defined, to be undefined, then one minus cos x plus sine x should be zero, but also tan x should be zero. That's it. Yeah, that's simple. That's how it is, guys. And then, how do we go about this? We gotta solve the general solution. So I've got a, a sine x there, but I've got a cos squared x. Remember what I said, you gotta get rid of that thing. So I'm gonna have one minus, and then I know cos squared x is one minus sine squared x, and then I'm gonna say plus sine x is equal to zero. So I'm gonna solve this equation. I can see one is gonna take out one, and I'm gonna be left with sine squared x plus sine x is equal to zero. And then I now know I like this because it's very easy to factorize. So I'm gonna have sine x plus one equals to zero. And you know, you get two solutions there, either sine x equals to zero or sine x is equal to minus one. <laughs> very easy to solve. These are what uh, you know at zero, that's kind of a boundary angle, isn't it? Yes. Plus, uh, you, I mean, you don't really have to press arc sine and all that, but you know sine zero is zero when I mean, looking at the function. So x is what? Is zero. So what is going to be your general solution? It's, it's just gonna be k dot 360k element of integers, or if not 360, you would say where again is sine positive in the second quadrant and that's 180 minus zero. So it's just gonna be, um, uh, pardon me. Um, so it's just gonna be 180 plus K dot 360 and K is an integer. Okay, here, sine 90 is what makes sine to be one, okay? So we're gonna first write here, okay, my reference angle here is 90 degrees, okay? So my solution will be as follows, x here is 90, okay, plus k dot 360, and I must mention k is an integer, or I must now check um, as a matter of fact, sorry, I was too forward there. Um, hmm, I'm starting to forget now. Eh? And this is what also happens to you guys in the exam. Yes. So I found my reference angle. It is 90. Now, where is sine negative? Sine is negative in the second and the fourth quadrant. So I got to say 180 minus 90. Anyway, I was going to get a 90. But I think I need to clarify that so you do not um, misunderstand me. Okay. Yeah. 
that and then k is an integer okay if you think about this again we're gonna go ahead and put up the one for uh, uh, the next second quadrant I, which where sign is negative is 360 minus 90 that's just 270 okay plus k dot 360 and k is an integer okay those are the these are the quadrants where sign is is negative so that's just about it we are done here finding the values so by the way uh, actually we are not not done because we've got to pay respect to this interval so let's 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 quickly classify that if i put k equals to zero here then i'm gonna get a zero so let's answer what are the values so first of all we found that x will be zero we're gonna write a nice set here we don't want x to be zero because we know definitely we're going to get <coughs> a zero somewhere okay sine zero is zero cos zero is one so we're gonna get a zero there so we can see the solution also works what is the next one let's see if if i get a zero here guys if i put a zero here by k okay if i put a zero here that's where i am then i get a 180 there okay i hope you all can see that that i'm gonna get a 180 and me getting a 180 um, would mean that 180 should actually be one of the solutions is it in that interval yes notice this is a square bracket not a round bracket if this was a round bracket then we were not gonna take that 180 so yeah why not let's take the 180 it's part of it if you think about it sine 180 is zero and cos 180 is one okay it's actually negative one but you're gonna square that then we still have one minus one we have a zero in the denominator so we can divide by zero finally let's come to these ones here if i put a zero there okay i get a 90 so is that 90 a solution i think so um because that's a one takes that um uh yeah because no 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 because 90 is a zero my bad my bad because 90 is a zero sine 90 is a one so again one minus one we're gonna get a zero so yeah we're gonna throw 90 in this interval what if uh this thing was a negative one what if k was a negative that one then we're gonna get a minus 270 which is out of the interval so that doesn't bother us if we get this if we put this as positive one it's going to give us 400 and something which is also out way out so we we're not going to leave we done this has helped us that's enough that's fine now let's come here if this is zero um right away getting 270 and 270 is way out of the interval if it's negative it's even um, let's see if this is negative it's if if i put a negative one or oh, i might get something there so i'm gonna have negative 360 plus 270 and that's a nine minus 90 right so yeah um at least we get something minus 90 is within the interval so we have one so at least a solution there um you don't want to try okay let's see i mean 360 times 2 that's 720 and 720 minus 270 that does not even get closer to our interval it is still far away so we realize one thing um here we got a solution if k is negative one okay here we got a solution if k is zero otherwise other values are out of the interval here we we did not get a solution Oh, uh, no, 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 we did get a solution here. K should be zero, sorry. Here, what did we get? Maybe it's, it's a good idea to write that so that you guys are not confused. Here, we also realize we get a solution if K is zero, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, if K is negative one, I just saw this one also, then we will also get a solution because minus 360 plus 180 will give us a negative a 180 so here we also get a solution if k is minus one so i must actually throw that negative 180 uh, in in the interval that is what is going to happen because yeah it gives us solution now remember you are not done there's another one so we are done with these ones we have tested all the values of k so let's come to this one time x equals to zero okay so which value in other words gives us zero we know tan zero is zero so my ref angle okay um x equals to zero so my solution right away can actually be 
uh, k.180 and k is an integer. Now remember, I told you the cool thing about 10. So we don't even have to stress about 10 anymore. We see that um, <clears throat> this zero, if k is zero, we already have a zero in the solution. So all is actually good. And then another thing is that if we're gonna put a one, 180 is already there, minus one, minus 180 is already there. Now someone could have also done this. I'm just showing you another way to go about this, cos x, okay? Or this, you could, you could have done that, okay? In other words, on that side there. But there's a problem. You need to really be careful because you wanna find out what the problem is. Now one over sine x, cos x, just want to show you this quickly, is the same as one, okay? Um, you are at, sorry, not divide, one times cos x over one, uh, sine x. And in this case, this is cos x over what? Sine x, you see that, guys? So in this case, actually, you would not want sine x, you know? You would solve where sine x is zero. And we have already solved for this, there it is. This is why the solutions here were already catered for in this thing. You realize we got a zero here from this equation. You realize we got um, a 180 also from this equation, but we also got a minus 180 from this same equation. So that's why it was kind of already catered for. If you saw it, very good. In this case, uh, there's no need to repeat because we already know. So if we were to write that nicely in ascending order, we will say the values are the following. It is um, actually minus 180, okay, minus 90, 0, 90, and 180. Those are the values for which this uh, identity will not be defined. It will be undefined. In other words, you will find yourself dividing by zero, okay? As a matter of fact, it is even worse for x because tan x, tan 90 is undefined at all itself. So definitely very big one that you should have picked up without even maybe solving. You know that tan 90, there's a symptote in that uh, graph. Guys, uh, this has been a, a good journey going through the general solutions with you. As I said, this is where they hit you hard with questions because it is all about complex procedure, uh, procedures and you need a bit of resilience in order to do this. Guys, if you've got any questions, please holler on our Facebook page or even Instagram page. We are also there on Twitter as together for us, the number four, then CITC, Community Information Technology Center. And what uh, we're doing online teaching now as a way of um, combating uh, uh, um, the crisis that the, web, the whole world is facing, the crisis of self-isolation due to the spread of the coronavirus. So keep in touch. If you inbox us, we can see a way to include you in our WhatsApp group where learners from different schools are in there with myself, Mr. G. So you can pose a question at any time and anyone who's available can help you answer. And of course, I check on regular times. If no one has answered, I'll be there myself to help you or even again, send another short video to explain what is going on there. So until then, I'll catch you in the next series of grade 11 in which we will be discussing functions. Until then, take care.